7.5 number 9 and I'm going to try to also fit in numbers 10 and 11 on this clip or we might need to do one more clip after this. And they're all dealing with complex fractions and we're going to do each one of them the same way. We're going to turn it, the division into multiply by the reciprocal. So first step, we need to have just one fraction on the top and one fraction on the bottom. So deal with them separately. Let's deal with this top one first. To make one fraction, we need a common denominator because we're adding fractions. And the LCD would be 7x for the top one. So I need an x here, top and bottom. And I need a 7 here, top and bottom. So that turns my top numerator, or fractions, into x plus 9 times 7, 63 all over the common denominator of 7x. Alright, so we have one fraction, which is what we want. Bottom, the LCD is different. It's 9x, so we have to do times x on the first one and times 9 on the second one. And that turns the bottom fractions into x take away 54 all over 9x. And this is exactly what we want because as long as we have one fraction on the bottom here, we're going to be able to turn this into multiply by the reciprocal because we have to have only one fraction in order to flip it and make a reciprocal. So now we turn division, which is that fraction bar right there, into multiply by the reciprocal. So we take the numerator fraction and instead of dividing it by x minus 54 over 9x, we multiply it by the reciprocal, which is 9x over x minus 54. And now we've turned the complex fraction into a multiplication problem. And we're going to use the same steps we always do. Factor, cancel, multiply across. Well, there's nothing to factor. We can do some canceling. We have an x factor here and an x here. Those are gone. And there's nothing else we can do. And we don't want to cancel these x's right here because they are part of an entire term. They are connected to something by an add or subtract. So we don't want to cancel them out. So we just multiply across the numerators. 9 times x plus 63 over 7 times x take away 54. And that would be our final answer. And that's number 9. Let's look at number 10. complex fraction again, and we're going to use the same approach, turn this division into multiply by the reciprocal. They're already one fraction each on top and bottom, so we can skip that step. We're all set there. We're going to go right to changing it to multiply. So we have the top fraction, which is 1 over j plus 9, multiplied by the reciprocal of the second one. So flip it over, we get j squared minus 81 over 4. And again, we have turned this problem into a multiply problem now. So we're going to use the steps for multiplying fractions. Factor, cancel, and multiply across. So first, the factor step. We can factor j squared take away 81 because it's two terms. They're both perfect squares. So we do the difference of squares factoring. So I'm going to just cross this out. And we're going to deal just with these now. And then we look for pieces to cancel. We can cancel j plus 9 on the bottom and on the top. And that's it for the canceling. So now we just multiply across and get our final answer. 1 times j minus 9 would be the numerator, or just j minus 9. And 4 is all we have on the denominator. So that would be our answer. And I think we have room for one more here, so let's do number 11. Another complex fraction. We need to make one fraction on top, one fraction on the bottom. So looking just at the top one, think of this as 1 over 1. We need an LCD of y plus 1. So this fraction right here needs y plus 1, top and bottom. And that gives us y plus 1, take away 2, 
all over the common denominator of y plus 1 over, now the second one, again we have two terms, we want just one term and one fraction. LCD is again y plus 1. Think of this as 2 over 1. So we multiply y plus 1 top and bottom and that gives us 2 times y plus 1 plus 1 all over y plus 1. All right, so now we have one fraction on the top, one on the bottom. Now before we change this to multiply and flip, let's simplify what we have here just so we have less to work with and we'll be less likely to make a mistake that way. So a simplify step would be clear parentheses and combine like terms. So on this first one up top, we can combine like terms and we get y minus 1 over y plus 1 over. On the second one here, let's do that off to the side. We have 2 times y plus 1, so that's 2y plus 2 plus 1. And combining the like terms, we get 2y plus 3. All right, so the numerator turns into 2y plus 3 over y plus 1. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and turn it to multiply and take the reciprocal of the denominator. So we'll turn it to y take away 1 over y plus 1 times, flip it, y plus 1 over 2y plus 3. Now we look to factor and cancel. Well, there's no factoring to do, so we're going to go right to cancel, y plus 1 top and bottom. Then we multiply across the numerators and across the denominators for a final answer. y minus 1 over 2y plus 3. And we're done.